Let's go. Um, we, we went over a couple things, but I think we're gonna really start doing that in the upcoming weeks. Um, we still try to make sure everybody knows what they're supposed to be doing right now. Right. So when we start game planning, everybody's ready. Right. Have you gotten a few snaps on offense so far in practice? Uh, not at, not during practice. Um, I run a couple routes after practice, uh, catch a couple of passes. I guess Rick had said that he thought that uh, maybe like seven to ten days out from the opener, he, he might yeah. start to work in there. He a didn't want to, um, you know, camp is a, a time where it's hot, so he didn't want to really get me tired. You know what I mean? Well, not tired, but I guess overwork. Uh huh. So I guess when it starts cooling down and stuff, you a lot more be going on for me in practice. How have you held up in that regard? You know, you always worry about the wide receivers and defensive backs and the hamstrings. You right. keep running and running and running. Are you you're holding up pretty good in that you just gotta, Yeah, you just got to communicate. Um, and understand protecting yourself isn't being soft. It's, mm -hmm. You know, it's hard to, to think that once you're out there playing, but you just got to remember um, that one play isn't worth a three, four games. Right. Did you do anything different to try to protect that after hurting it a couple times? Um... Right now, I'm just playing football, but if it, if it ever gets tight like it did last time, I'm pretty sure I'll, I'll slow it down. I don't want that to happen again. <laughs> just in case these first couple of games, you did get, they did want you to throw a player to an offense, you could go in with any kind of hesitation. You wanted to do any kind of preparation ahead of time to do that? You're um, I remember all the players from last year, so and look, I'll be able to do all that. They just can't call one that they uh, – Recently made up. Just be mouth and go deep on three. Yeah, just let me do that. It would be all right then. <laughs> <laughs> I know how to do that. <laughs> what is your comfort level at uh, cornerback right now? Because you um, go out and play, feel like you can play tomorrow? Um, I feel like I can play, I can play tomorrow just because of uh, the people around me. Uh, we got a lot of great players around me, and no matter what I do or the mistakes I made, they, we just play and they keep my head up, so we make it mm -hmm. work. How do you not get kind of caught up in what will happen and just kind of focus on what you're going to do the kind of the first two, three weeks? It's hard to get caught uh, not to get caught up because, of, of course, everyone loves to think about the future, you know what I mean, and what's going to happen. And when it gets blurry, you, you start to, you know, worry, panic a little bit. But um, you just got to trust and, and have faith that everything is going to go, go good and we'll be all right. How realistic is it for you to be a two-way guy in 2012 SEC football? It's very realistic right now. Um, Let on down the line, of course, at the next level. Hopefully, I, if I get it, it's, it won't be that way, of course. But uh, right now, I feel like it's realistic for anyone who wants to do it, not just me. You just got to work hard and, and prepare for it. It's very <laughs> difficult, though. It ain't easy. Do <laughs> you feel any additional pressure um, like you have more responsibility you know, on this team because they switch you over to cornerback. Oh uh, no, um, I don't. I don't feel any pressure just because I know that I got moved over to help out, and I just feel like that's my my job right now, just to help out and mm -hmm. and make sure we can uh, get through these games clean without without all the other great players that we're gonna miss for the first couple of games. Mm -hmm. So. I don't feel the pressure because I know they got my back and I got theirs. Thanks, man.